the Duker. Larry Morrow on Rixie 1260. Larry Morrow is one of the most familiar figures in Cleveland radio history. I would go on air and say, hi, good morning, it's the Duker, Larry Morrow. I'm here to get your heart to quibble and your liver to bilble. Ain't nothing shaking but the leaves on the trees, and they wouldn't be shaking if it wasn't for the breeze. But as successful as Morrow and Wixie 1260 was in 1969, he said the station lacked a certain respect in the community. So one day he recalls getting a visit from Station Brass, pointing out that there were 220 people from Greater Cleveland serving in Vietnam. And they said, how would you like to go to Vietnam and interview all of them? And I said, well, you know, I was in the Marine Corps and I came out okay. I'm not so sure I want to go to Vietnam. <laughs> But the former corporal jumped at the opportunity, and after cutting through much red tape, he got permission and a promotion. See, the papers came addressed to Major Lawrence Morrow. It was later explained that was because... If you get captured, they'll negotiate to get you back. Over the 10-day trip, he would travel across Vietnam, meeting with Clevelanders, and bringing those conversations back home to air over the holidays for their friends and family to hear. He also left each with a promise. That when you come home, that I'm taking you to lunch. And I did with many. In the nearly half century since, Morrow says he hasn't heard the original interviews. On this holiday, we had a chance to play a few for him. 136 Wixie Thanksgiving time as Wixie brings the boys home from Vietnam. Hi, Duker. My name is uh, PSCRL Jacobson. I graduated from Canton McKinley High School. Uh, Mom, Dad, and Helen, I want to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving, and I hope to be home by Christmas. Boy, that's going to be nice, isn't it, Russ? Sure is. Is this your first Thanksgiving away? No, it's my third. How long have you been in Vietnam? 18 months. Want to play a, a song for uh, your girl back home in Canton? I'd like to. Uh, every day with you, girl. Well, I'll tell you, Ross was uh, so delightful to talk with and wanted to play a song for Eleanor and his mother and father. Well, oh, that's fun to listen yeah. to. Yeah. Morrow also sent cassettes of those conversations to their parents, which resulted in thank you notes he still has. Of the stateside lunches he later shared with those he interviewed, he never forgot about the two young men who never had that opportunity, killed in action. So when the Vietnam Memorial Wall was dedicated in Washington in 1982, Morrow was there. And I reached up and touched their names and I said, I'm here for our lunch. I kept our agreement. Throughout his career, Larry Morrow has interviewed so many names you know, but it's the names you don't that stay with him. If there is one phrase or one thought that connected me to this city, not at the head level, but at the heart level. It was my trip to Vietnam. John Kasich, News 5.